planning a destination wedding and thinking about cool things you can add? Watch, we'll give you some ideas. Hi, I'm Jack with Vacationies and I'm here with some tips for you on some cool things you can add for your destination wedding. First, if you don't mind, please subscribe to the videos. Um, I post new videos every Tuesday and if you hit the notification bell, you'll be alerted when they come out. So people are always asking me, what can I do to make my destination wedding a little bit different from somebody else's? Now we're going on the premise, we're talking about a beach destination wedding in Mexico, Jamaica, Antigua, Dominican. So here are some things that we've done with clients and it really depends on the resort and the destination and the planner at the resort. So I'm just going to throw out some ideas, stuff we've done, there's other things, but these are just some cool things we've done. One of the coolest things we did a couple years ago was the groom wanted to arrive at the wedding and surprise the bride and the family. So we talked to him about what ideas we came up with and what we came up with and were able to get it to work is he landed by a helicopter on the beach right at his wedding. Now recently we tried doing this in Mexico. Um, we couldn't get permission from the government to land where the helicopter and the groom wanted to land, but it's always something you can look at in Jamaica, there's helicopters. So again, you can look at landing by helicopter at your wedding. Pretty cool. Another thing we've done on the same thing is um, we had a procession of the groom and the groomsmen that wanted to come in. And instead of walking down the aisle, they were looking for some neat. So what we did is we rented a bunch of jet skis. So they came in from out in the ocean. The ceremony was on the beach. And there were five or six of these guys that came in zooming in onto the beach on the jet skis. It's pretty easy to make happen. The only problem was, as the groom was coming in, he went over a wave and flipped the jet ski. And everybody was watching this happen. So again, something a little bit interesting on an arrival. Now, other things we can do is in Mexico, um, there is a resort that has camels. So we've had a groom come in on a camel. There are a couple resorts that you can get motorcycles to drive in. And then the other thing we've done, specifically at the Moon Palace and the Grand at the Moon, is they have a carriage and two white horses. And it's a pretty dramatic arrival to come in to the wedding on these horse-pulled carriages uh, with everybody sitting there. Now then when we talk about what can we do to entertain your guests at your event, I mean, look, you're going to have a DJ probably. So one of the things we've seen with the DJs at the resorts is many of them now have light shows they can bring with, laser light shows. The resorts have LED dance floors, DJ booths. So again, the planners can work with you on those things, but we've done that with a lot of people, and those are pretty neat as well. Some other cool stuff we've done in terms of music. Um, in Mexico, we've had marachi bands. Any place between three pieces to 15 pieces. And you can usually get a set, which is any place between 30 minutes and 45 minutes, and I've seen prices between $400 to $1,000 for a set with the Marachis. The other thing we've done in both Jamaica, the DR, and as well as um, in Antigua we've done it, in St. Lucia, and Mexico even, is steel drums. So you can get steel drummers, it's usually one to three steel drummers. We've had clients have the steel drummers at their ceremony, and we've also had them at the cocktail hours. And again, same pricing between $500 and $1,000. On the same note, we've seen reggae bands, specifically in Mexico, as amazing as it may be, and in the DR, and definitely in Jamaica. You can get between a one to five piece reggae band. We had a client, I'm told, in Ocho Rios that had a reggae band, and that was the whole entertainment for everybody to dance and party to. But you can have them come and just play for a cocktail hour. Um, talking about cocktail hours and ceremonies, all the resorts will offer you options such as a violin player, someone playing the harp for your ceremony, a flautist, and a saxophonist. So those, all those options are available at most of the resorts in most destinations, and it's really something to set your wedding a little bit different that people will remember. A few other entertainment options, and this specifically is related to Cancun. There is a vendor down there that does water drumming and just drumming. It's called Drums of Paradise. Amazing, amazing company to work with, but if you've ever seen Blue Man Group, this company can do like a mini blue man group, um, again, during your reception, maybe your cocktail, but they'll have water drumming, they get people up there, they're banging on the drums, the water's going over all over the place. It's crazy, it's fun, people talk about it. 
The other thing we see people talk about a lot is the fire dancers. Um, pretty much every place has this. We've seen them in Mexico with an Aztec or Maya kind of influence, but they have them in Jamaica. They have them in most islands, and you can get fire dancers, you know, one or two people, up to five or six people with live music and drumming. And again, pricing on these things are typically going to run between $500 to $1,500 for the entertainment. We've seen stilt walkers, we've seen Junkanoo parades, which is a Bahamas thing, but they do it pretty much everywhere, where they'll have people in costumes with lights. It's just a really fun thing that people are going to remember about your event. And one of the biggest things we're seeing now is fireworks. Most of the resorts have it. It's just whether it's cold fireworks, which they do indoors, or it's big outdoor fireworks that you would see in the USA during July 4th, but you can spend a couple thousand to 50,000, depending upon how big a presentation you want. And again, these are all cool things you can add to your wedding ceremony, your wedding weekend, the whole stay, whatever it may be. Now, when we look at your reception, a couple of the resorts have added some really cool things. One of the resorts we love working with is called Generations. Another one is Palace Resorts. Well, what they've added is a churro cart. It is one of my favorite things I've probably mentioned in other videos. So they will bring a churro cart and make these churros right at your reception. So it could be for dessert, it could be for a welcome cocktail party. But just again, we just had a wedding in Jamaica um, about two weeks ago and I talked to some of the guests and that was the thing they remembered, was the churro cart and how the chocolate was there and the cinnamon. So these are just little things that you can add to your wedding that will give people great memories. There's a couple other resorts in Mexico that are doing taco stations, tequila tastings. So if you have an idea, just talk to the planner at your resort and ask them if they can make it happen. And most of the time, they'll probably say maybe, and then they'll figure out whether they can make it happen. But I think what we find is everybody wants something unique about their wedding, and most of the resorts with the planners they have can come up with some pretty cool stuff for your destination wedding. I'm Jack with Vacationees. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and hopefully we can help you plan an amazing destination wedding.